hello again guys today I'm going to do the banana walnut bread I've been looking for these bananas for the longest while these baby bananas you know these baby bananas that Dr. Sebi recommends they're very exotic you cannot find them in your supermarket down the street or across the road I found these at a place called Italy I think I mentioned this before in New York it's also a very exotic place <laughs> so I found these there so I said wow I really need to do this because I was going to do this banana walnut bread with the baby bananas because some of you have been asking me to do the banana walnut bread and since this was so hard to find I said let me just do it with the baby bananas even though it's not on Dr. Sebi's list but the thing is all of these bananas are all hybrids all right they're all hybrids so anyway I'm going to use I don't know like these three and three six and two eight I would use ten of these to do what I'm doing today all right so I'm going to peel these and smash it up and then we're going to come back let me see I think I should do this from the bottom I think the bottom is easier you take a knife because I noticed that they're not so easy to peel all right so I'm going to peel 10 of these and smash it up and get back to you so I have uh, four ounces of vegan butter here that I'm softening up again I'm not using the mixer it's not necessary you do this with your hand save some electricity I have half a cup of agave syrup I'm mixing into the the butter. Want to get everything in there? I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to add my liquids. I'm going to have uh, half a cup of Brazil nut milk. And half a cup of Perrier. And now I'm going to add my flour. I have two and a half cups of white spelt flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and quarter teaspoon of salt. Gonna fold this in gradually. And after I'm done folding this in, I'm going to add my fold in my bananas and walnuts get all of this in there it's, it's very quick it's a it's a quick bread it's a quick bread So I have my 10 bananas that I mashed. I'm going to fold this in. And I have a cup of walnuts. That's it. It's easy and quick. And you should eat this the next day. Just let it sit overnight and eat it the next day. It's going to be much better. So I'm going to get my pan and put this in it. And 350 degrees for about 
50 to 55 minutes or an hour depending on your oven so I'll get back to you with my pan so I'm putting my batter into my oiled pan here and I'm going to put this into the oven 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes all right so when this is done I'll show you what it looks like so here we are guys this is our banana walnut bread it looks wonderful here um, this was in the oven for about an hour because um, when I tested it after 50 minutes it was still a bit wet on the inside so it's been for about an hour as you can see it really rose quite a lot really expanded quite a lot over the sides it has a beautiful color it's just I cannot wait to have some of this but um, this is going to sit overnight and um, today is Saturday it's Saturday night and this is going to be breakfast Sunday morning maybe I chose some of it with some butter it's going to be delicious for the family and it feels soft so this has to cool and it's going to sit overnight because I think it's best the next day so again try this and don't forget to like and subscribe take care well hello everybody today is May 7th 2017 it's 1 Sunday afternoon I'm feeling pretty good today even though there's no Sun I thought the Sun was gonna be out today but it's not I did this last night Saturday this is the banana walnut bread and I showed you what it looked like when I took it out of the oven it was in the the nonstick pan and I'm always a little nervous about removing these things from the pan even when it's nonstick but it came out great you see it's intact but you know my son took a big chunk of it this morning so what I wanted to do was slice it and not do like a French toast but just fry it a little bit you can eat this like that you can see the nuts and my son said that there were too many nuts I don't think so but it's it looks good it's very moist and um, I'm going to slice and I'm going to fry it on the with a little bit of vegan butter and a little bit of oil when I say fry I'm not talking about deep frying um, like French toast or you could put this in your toaster and toast it and put some butter on it and I think it would be delicious so let's do this toasting so I have my stove here it's on medium I'm going to put some butter this is vegan butter and a tiny bit of oil I think this was a little too much butter but it's okay I'm going to place my slices of banana walnut bread here another piece here and you know we're gonna toast this for about two or three minutes on each side and you know that's it this is this is how I think um, you should do your banana walnut bread after it's done or you can eat it like that but I you know I like texture and I like you know it's more flavor again more flavor when you do it like that so I'm gonna come back when I turn it so guys this has been going now for about three to four minutes and you can see the brown parts there so it's nice and toasty there So you know this is like you do your pancakes so you put some agave syrup on this and you have it for breakfast it's 
it's just a light toast on the stove you can do this in your toaster oven or your you know your two slice toaster or your four slice toaster and put some butter on this or some cheese some vegan cheese and have this for for breakfast or, or lunch all right so don't forget to like and subscribe and whatever day it is when you're looking at this i hope you are having a great day take care